Published 0735 EDT, 2 October 2017 Updated 1257 EDT, 2 October 2017 Britain is braced for typically autumnal weather this week as gales of up to 70 miles per hour spark travel disruption. The strong winds, which are remnants of hurricanes Lee and Maria over the Atlantic, hit the country today, resulting in trouble on the roads and planes struggling to land. A yellow warning for strong winds in the north of England and Scotland was issued by the Met Office and is expected to last until 11.55 p.m. tonight. And temperatures could plummet to as low as 4C in some parts this week. The strong winds, which are remnants of hurricanes Lee and Maria over the Atlantic, hit the country today, resulting in trouble on the roads and planes struggling to land at Leeds Bradford Airport gale force winds bring huge waves crashing into the harbour and lighthouse in Aberystwyth, Wales, this morning pictures emerged of high waves crashing against sea walls in Tymouth, Blackpool pictured, Sunderland and Wales the majority of disruption so far has been north of the border, with the Dornage Bridge and the Tay Road Bridge closed to high-sided vehicles. The Fourth Road Bridge, which connects Fife to Edinburgh, is shut to cyclists and pedestrians. And a number of ferries to the Western Isles have been cancelled by Calmac and Northlink ferries. Planes were seen struggling to land due to the heavy gales at Leeds Bradford Airport. The yellow warning for strong winds today read strong west or northwest winds are likely to affect northern areas of the UK on Monday. Some delays to road, rail, air and ferry transport are likely. Some bus and train journeys may be affected with some journeys taking longer. Delays for high-sided vehicles on exposed routes and bridges are likely. Some short-term interruptions to power supplies are possible. Pictures emerged of waves crashing against sea walls in Tynemouth, Blackpool, Sunderland, and Wales. Pedestrians in Westgate, Bradford city centre are buffeted by strong winds which swept northern Britain today A father and daughter are buffeted by the winds of the remnants of combined hurricanes Lee and Maria in Blackpool Dog walkers on a wind-swept Tynemouth Beach as strong winds are sweeping across the UK, with the Met Office issuing a yellow weather warning the golden sense of Seaburn Beach in Sunderland were whipped up by strong winds on the northeast coast this morning it is set to be a fairly bleak week for Britain as the country moves into autumn and prepares for winter. Met Office spokesman Oli Clayton told Mail in Line it's going to be typically autumnal this week. There is a real north-south divide today with blustery weather in the north of England and Scotland and dry sunshine in the south. Tomorrow we'll see most people wake up to a chilly morning, with rural areas in the north of England and Scotland around 4C or 5C at the start of the day. There will be more showers for Scotland, especially in the northeast and far northeast, in areas like Shetland. It will be more persistent on Wednesday, with some heavy showers expected and more cloud around. The crashing waves spilled onto the road at the beachfront in Blackpool as heavy winds hit the north of England and Scotland Met Office forecaster Sophie Yeoman said remnants of Hurricanes Lee and Maria are increasing rain amounts until Monday from a low-pressure system.